school at Spurk Point. And yeah, I'm just going to be here to answer any questions you guys might have. All right. Thank you, you guys. Um, so you have three different perspectives from three different travel schools from Brook Point Mountain View and Colonial Forge. Uh, the only one travel school that we don't have today is Stafford, South Stafford, Stafford Senior, and uh, North Stafford, which wouldn't be travel students if you're in North Stafford's district because we're lucky enough to host the, the engineering program at North Stafford here. Um, I've been here, this is my ninth year, so if you're an eighth grader, my next year would be my 10th year here. The other two engineering teachers are Mr. Evans, who is in his, this will be his, this is his third year, so next year would be his fourth year in the engineering program. And uh, Mrs. Bullen will be in her first year with the program, but she's teaching some intro level courses this year but she'll be her first year in the program next year so we'll have three engineering teachers we're pretty excited about for for next year um uh as far as classes if you were in j rob's uh intro meeting she went over some of the engineering courses there's seven engineering courses and you would if you complete the four years in the course, you would end up taking five of those courses, five of those seven. So, so you get a good idea of a bunch of different engineering disciplines, which is pretty awesome. We go on some pretty awesome field trips. Um, you get to meet people with like interests as you that also think they might wanna do something that is in some sort of engineering field. We talk about a bunch of different engineering fields. So in the four years so the first class is an intro class we just get into 3d printing and engineering jobs and and the decision process and all those sorts of things um, then as a sophomore you get to either take an aerospace class or a digital electronics class which is either aerospace with flying and things like that and digital which is circuits and electricity and soldering and stuff and then as a junior you have you'll take poe principles of engineering which is a physics based class um so that gives you a leg up on your physics class as a junior where you'll talk about force and and simple machines like pulleys and and wedges and things like that and then you'll also take either manufacturing or which deals with robotics and and assembly lines and machining plants and things like that and, or civil engineering and architecture, which you're talking about building houses, roads, uh, buildings, and things like that. And then as a senior, you take a capstone class where you take all year long to try and solve a problem and present it in front of a board. And then you go away to college or to the workforce or trade school or wherever you plan on going with a portfolio that says, I solved the problem. I went through the whole design process. We tested it, we prototyped, we did market research, we did patent research, we did a whole bunch of stuff like that and reflect on it. So those are overall all of the courses that you can or would take. Um, in those courses, I'll go through the, the field trips real quick and then I'll just show some pretty cool videos of some of the stuff um, that we've done in this class. And if you can see my screen, uh, there's a, we make some gliders in aerospace. Here's a North Stafford keychain that was 3D printed here in the school. Um, we have some other tools that we'll that I'll show you with some videos and pictures, which are pretty cool. Um, field trip wise, we we get to go to Richmond Science Museum, which is fun. Everybody likes that trip. The Quantico FBI facility right up the street, which is pretty awesome. They get to talk to some of the sound engineers and and people who work in the machining shop and all that stuff that they are the, the, um, the uh, transportation plant in, in Quantico as well. So you talk you talk to the all the Quantico agents about all the different jobs that they've done and and how their engineering background has helped them get those jobs and, and be successful in those jobs and and things like that. Um, 
we actually got to go on to the iFly up in um, Northern Virginia, up in Fairfax two years ago or last year. That was pretty awesome. Um, we go to NASA up in Maryland where we get to look at history of NASA and some of their um, ships and, and rockets and things like that. Uh, and then we got with the engineer or the architecture class, we went to a Frank Lloyd Wright house and Woodlawn, which are both up by Mount Vernon kind of. So we get to see two different architectural styles and, and some history of those things as well. And then the, the, the capper is um, over the four years, uh, J-Rob has put together some awesome overseas engineering trips, which are pretty cool. So um, so, uh, so those are pretty awesome. We got to go to London. They're, talk, they're going to Galapagos Islands and Japan coming up. So those will be awesome trips. Um, so now I'll present some of the some of the cool things that that we've done in class or some of the things that some of the tools that we get to use. Here are some houses, some examples from the civil engineering and architecture class. The kids, the students build and research a specific style or type of architecture, and then they have to try and mimic that with cardboard or plexiglass or whatever that we can get a hold of cheapish and, and work that way. So that's a pretty fun project. The kids like that. Um, we work with 3D printing software, so CAD software. Here are some designs some people, some students have done. Um, that was this cup is a mini mini putt putt home golf thing with a flag that attaches to it there's a little wrench keychain thing um, so that's those the 3d printer is really nice down here so we get to use a 3d printer that you probably won't see in most engineering colleges so so that's really cool um, we use a software this is a software where it, you build houses and and buildings. This is actually a layout that for one of the classrooms for at North Stafford, where they talk, where they were looking into converting from the picture in the top left to the bottom right. So that's a pretty cool project, stuff like that that we would do in our class. And then one more. One or two more cool videos so you get an understanding of some of the stuff that we do is this is a robot that we work with where the class had to teach the robot how to read a line and follow it without them doing any input with with directional or, or remote control or anything. So they program that robot to be able to do that, to follow that line. Um, here's our CNC machine, which is brand new. These students this year, the juniors are the first ones in the manufacturing class to get to use it. So that's pretty exciting. Um, it's a, a super nice machine. So we get to play with some pretty awesome tools that, like I said, you, you don't get a true appreciation for until you go as a junior or a senior. Some of our students have gone to college visits and said that we have better toys and machines here at North Stafford than some of the colleges that they've toured. So that's pretty cool to say that you're, you'll be ahead of your peers in whatever you plan on doing at the next level if you get to interact with some of these cool things so um, that's pretty much my spiel about the engineering program we have fun we do a lot of projects a lot of hands-on stuff um, you have the opportunity to to take a bunch of ap classes if you'd like um, and then that if we have any questions that uh, j rob didn't cover in the general education 
thing at, to start at six o'clock, or if any of these three can answer for you that they didn't answer in the chat, please type in any questions that you might have about travel, about the classes, about transition, about any of that stuff. These guys can unmute themselves and help us out for there. So thank you for attending and hopefully you guys think that engineering is fun and you join in. So Justin, to answer your question, when we travel, um, so your first two years, what you're going to do is you'll be traveling in the afternoon. So you'll take your first two classes at your base school, and then you'll leave about 10 minutes early, depending on how far away your school is from North Stafford. And then you'll go to North Stafford, you'll eat lunch at North Stafford, and then you'll take your second, uh, your third and fourth classes there, sorry. And then um, you then will leave at, what time did we leave? Like 1.45-ish, I think. Yeah. And then you would leave after that and go back to your base school. Did that help? Um, Can you guys talk about um, why you picked that over uh, governor's school or, or just taking regular AP classes? Well, I chose to do STAT over um, governor's school because the, uh, I'll just say STAT is more of a, uh, lo not lower key, but you, you don't have, it's not as stressful in a way. I have known a lot of people from my base school that are just like, I have no free time. I literally am, well, when you're applying, you know that uh, CGS is more of a uh, time consuming, time consuming program. So that's why I chose that and how it was more math and science related was the reason why I chose that. And then Nicholas Bull, I do not know the um, statistics for that, but I would say a, um, it's a lot of people go to four-year colleges, and uh, some I think most people attend four-year colleges from the program. I know we have a wall within the in Mr. Lesher's room that has all the different logos of for alumni, so a lot of people do go to four-year colleges it basically it's all separated but i believe most go to four-year colleges or germana and stuff and then transfer um age what made you choose the engineering stat program so i chose stat because i'm super interested in engineering and like that's what i want to do when i'm older and i knew cgs i knew i had known some people who had done it and I know that it's mostly like it's aimed straight at all of your like it's aimed at like English and math and like history and I don't know they take like those kind of classes their core classes there and that's what it's really focused on trying to um, develop those classes and in stat you do take some of your core classes with the stat program but you also can take your engineering classes and um, like that in the engineering classes that you can take instead, they aren't offered other places. So I was really interested in those courses. And so, yeah, I thought that was the best fit for me. Um, so going back to the college thing, there's, Kelsey did a pretty good job of explaining it. There, there We have students who go on to a bunch of different things. We have, it, it really, your, your idea of what you wanna do as an eighth grader and what you wanna do as a senior usually changes a lot so for most people so a lot of people come into the program thinking they want to do one thing and end up doing another so that's another great reason why you should look into the engineering stat program because maybe if we always every year we have a handful of students that think they want to do engineering and they get in here and they say well that's totally different than what i thought it would be and i don't want to do that so that's that could save you thousands of dollars in college if you decide that that's not what you wanted to do if it's if you get in here and you love it then yeah there's opportunities to go straight to the workforce there's opportunities you can get certificates you could be hired as a 
as a CAD designer straight out of high school. We had a student do that last year. We have some who went into the military. We have some, uh, a bunch at Tech, ODU, uh, UVA, Mason, all over. So um, it really depends. No, the program isn't, isn't set up really to, to steer you one way or the other, more so to just give you a better uh, baseline for, for all these things that you'll learn in engineering school, in college, or a trade school, or whatever, where you'll have a leg up on everybody else who doesn't get to use these things. Um, and then you still have the opportunity to take a bunch of AP classes. All these three are these three ladies are taking AP or DE dual enrollment classes right now as sophomore, junior, and senior. So that's good. Um, if you want to get into a specific school, then you should look into that specific school's requirements, and and this program will definitely help with you writing your letter to the school about why you're interested in that school and what you've done in, in your life and gives you some background knowledge on, on some things. So, so that helps. We have some students go straight into engineering at those colleges. And then we have others who, um, like I said, they, they go to one of the different colleges because they think they find out that they like a technical trade better. So um, either way, you you decide what you want to do based on what classes, what other classes you just you choose to pick. So you have your high school career to decide and no class, governor's school, um, stat, AP, DE is going to guarantee that you get in or don't get into a certain school. So just I would suggest trying to do something that you like and and then uh, and then work really hard and get really good grades and and then that'll put you in a good position. Um, coding wise, if you if you're looking at just coding, the only class where we do any robotic stuff is the manufacturing class and a little bit in the, the POE, the physics class. Um, that's basically just a really basic C++ type of stuff. If you really like coding and you think that's something that you want to do, then the IT, the STAT IT program is probably more for you. Um, the core math and science classes are at North Stafford, correct, ladies? North Stafford for the first two years for math, and then after that it's at your base school, and then science is always at North Stafford, unless you have a weird schedule that needs to be done. Yeah, so also your math class is not actually like stat influenced, like it's not a different curriculum because it's stat, how your um, science one is. But like for me, since it was, I didn't have to take a specific math one for stat, they can kind of switch that up. So this year I'm taking science at North Staff, I mean Spanish at North Stafford and taking math at Brickpoint. So those classes that aren't stat oriented don't necessarily matter where you take them. But yeah, usually you'll take math at North Stafford. Yeah, um, that is mainly like scheduling issues. To be honest, that's all scheduling. Yeah, um, so depending on what school you're from, some schools uh, will schedule your classes a little better than others uh, around your electives and, and things. But have any of you guys had to not take an elective that you really wanted to? No, I mean, um, I've been able, I've been only doing band and then drafting. But um, how a band is impacted, though, um, at least every band. So if you're in band, you're going to be impacted. You would have to, at least at Forge, if you're going to Forge, you're going to have to be impacted. You're going to have to work your way up the level of classes because you're not, it won't, they won't allow you to um, go into the highest level, if, even if you're qualified, because that's in the afternoon. So the um, four year, uh, so band, art, basically the arts, that's impacted us slightly, but basically you're able to do any electives you want, except from really the higher levels because those are usually in the afternoons. I know with that Mountain View, we'd, um, a lot of my friends are in band and we had they had the same issue 
where they had to like move their schedule around a lot to be able to fit the specific band class in they wanted. And then um, with Mountain View, I know the only one thing that I wasn't able to do, although I could have if I dropped another course, um, was culinary because it take, took up two blocks. So I would have had to have gone um, after my stat classes. It was my third and fourth block would have been one class um, on an X or Y day. And I wasn't able to do that one because of the way I, I had other classes in my schedule. But what you can also do is if you want more electives, um, you can take a you can take classes over the summer. I did that with uh, what was it? my my economics class. So I took my my economics class over the summer this past summer, and that was pretty easy. You just follow their thing, and then I it opened up an extra elective space, and I was able to take psychology this year. I did that as well, I was, so I could take psychology. Mm -hmm. Yep, psychology is. I've always wanted to say that, so I was able to do that this year. Do um, we have any other questions? Um, so with your scheduling, you're going to get two schedules. You're going to get one from uh, your base school, and you're going to get one from North Stafford. So those schedules sometimes will get mi mixed up. It's actually quite common. So if you get two conflicting schedules from your base school and from North Stafford, the ones you got from the classes for North, from North are the right ones, if that makes sense. And then the ones for your base school on the schedule you got from your base school is the right one. It's like, so, um, yeah. I would say like for me, for Mountain View, if Mountain View gave me a schedule and I went to North Stafford and the Mountain View schedule was different, I would only follow the North Stafford one North Stafford. Yeah, that that's just every... scheduling. Scheduling wise, though, you would it, it always gets figured out. So the the first thing is getting accepted into the program and deciding that you definitely want to do the program. So the scheduling stuff I wouldn't worry about, especially as a freshman. Um, but for for this first, just considering whether or not you want to do the stat program. Um, make sure you do as well of a job as you can on the application and and then if you get chosen into the program then then you can decide if if you want to be in the program and and then you can worry about the scheduling later but it always works itself out um, the virtual stuff is a good question uh, that got kind of thrown on us a little bit obviously Paige didn't get to finish a couple of projects as a freshman last year. She didn't get to go on a field trip. Um, so yeah, field trips are going to be affected. Um, but uh, J-Rob is like our head of the stat program kind of at North Stafford, and she handles all the field trips, and she's working on virtual field trips and things like that. Um, as far as hands-on projects, um, we're, still, we're still doing hands-on projects. Um, the classes that really re there's only one or two classes that have opted to be in person for the stat program in the engineering and um those courses we still have students who do not feel safe coming in so they stay virtual and we have paired them up with people in person so that helps um that's one way that we've handled it another way that we've handled it is there's we've sent home some some kits and things like that that you can work on at home and then send back or or if they're consumable then you just keep them um but yeah virtual is something that has made the program a little bit different but we still do all the things that we've done in the past just do we're just doing them a little bit differently that's all So the, the STAT program are, are more hands-on activities for sure. The governor school program is your traditional core type school classes where you're, you're not gonna have your, your hands-on, what used to be called more of an elective class, I guess. Yeah, more hands-on for STAT for sure, which is- You can use, uh, you can use any teacher 
as your reference. So it could be a sixth grade teacher, a seventh grade teacher, that's fine. Did that answer your question, Alessandra? Okay. It's the same for all clubs and sports that it's only at your base school. I mean, clubs you can do at North Stafford, but all sports it is, and that includes Jarrow, TC, Marching Man, stuff like that, it has to be at your base school. All right, does anybody have any other questions for the students or or me or that's not true, I don't think. Yeah. Hopefully the engineering, the stat program sounds fun and you understand somewhat of what we're what we do in here and and you apply to the program and and we accept you and then you guys have fun and, and everybody gets a lot out of it. So the, the application, there's a link in what I'm presenting right now on the screen. Um, I'll also throw a link to it in the chat. Thanks Paige, perfect. Thank you, everyone.